Hey everybody, welcome back to another exciting Nintendo Switch Rare physical game unboxing. And today we are here with another one from Super Rare Games. And uh, I forget exactly what this is. I think it's release 13, maybe 14. Looks like 14 as I'm reading on here. Actually, it tells me. Uh, Faroon Collection. I don't know anything about this, but I like to let them kind of curate what I buy at this point if you're interested. If you're interested, I have a link to Super Rare Games in the bottom. They do pretty much what their name implies, which is limited runs of physical releases for the Nintendo Switch. And, uh, you know, they do collector cards. They're going to get into collector's editions, all that kind of stuff. But they've been putting out some really awesome games, and I'm excited to get another game here today. So again, I bought some booster pack cards. We'll see if we can get a full set. We have the game, and as usual, we'll play some game footage. I'll talk over it, try to be somewhat fun, and have a good time, and we'll see how that goes. So let's jump right in here and see what we get. I am anxious to see them start getting into collector's editions at some point. I'm not anxious to have to fight for them like with limited run games, but um, it should be a good time. So we've had some pretty good luck on the booster cards here lately as well, getting a few full sets in the last few videos but I'm excited to find out what we get here. So we got the two booster sets. I'll try to keep those to the side for the moment. We do have the Super Rare Games card, which is thank you for all their support, and of course all the contact information outside of just going to superraregames.com. So you can pause if you're looking for any of that. And of course it does come with the small version of the Super Rare Games sticker that is actually in the art from that particular game. And this is from, uh, I'm in America, so this is from, I believe, U the UK. Uh, anyways, across the sea, so they have a different rating system. And we'll talk more about spy numbering and all that in a minute, and we get some cool stuff in the back here. So I know this is the part that bumps some people, but I'm not worried about keeping this. I get the big sticker for later. I know some of you might be very careful with it, but I just want to get into it, because this part of it goes bye-bye. So bye-bye. All right, and we got this pack of booster cards I'm gonna set to the side and we'll open that after the gameplay. So here is the bigger sticker, which of course we will look at. And I do love that they've started putting the actual art from the game or making the stickers like art from the game. Quick look at the box and before we take off the plastic and look at it real good without all the light reflections. So we'll jump right in there. Their shrink wrap comes off nice and easy, no spine glue or anything, so. There we go. Now let's take a look at the Faerun Collection. I might be saying it wrong. I'm not entirely sure. The art on the front, very, very good looking. Looks very reminiscent of a Zelda title. And of course, because this is Nintendo, not Nintendo of America, they get to put the numbers on the side. It looks like mine was kind of poorly packaged. This is the first time I've ever noticed this though. So um, that is a bummer that my actual insert seems to be below the plastic. And it's kind of messed up the corners there a little bit. So that's sad. I do like to keep these things in really good condition, but we'll fix it and we'll just live with it, I guess. Um, like I said, this is my 14th game with them. First time I've ever had any kind of issue whatsoever, uh, except one time something was like supposed to be shipped and never showed up, but they immediately sent me another one and they were very, very cool about it. And uh, yeah, so good job there. Open it up. Oh, we do get a little booklet. That's always fun. That's always one of the bonuses. Something you don't really see in games anymore. Hold on, I'm gonna slide this. I'm gonna go ahead and fix this because that's gonna bum me out otherwise. All right, so we get some nice uh, pixel art. I don't know if that's what the game is actually gonna look like. I would be okay if it is. And if there's a lot of reading, that means Eric gets to do a lot of funny voices. So, all right, let's, what we're gonna do is we're gonna look through this. We're gonna go play the game. And then we'll come on back and see if we can get a full set of five different cards. So, all right, we got that. I'll try to leave this where you guys can pause on each page and read it clearly, if that is what you're into. Or if you just want to get a quick glimpse at the artwork, that's what we're doing. So this is an actual uh, manual, which is nice. So it is a collection. We're getting Fair Room 1, Fair Room 2. I believe there's up to four games in here. So Fair Room Origin. Maybe Fair Room Odyssey. You think that's what's coming? <laughs> Fair Room Blast. Okay. So it is gonna be more of a retro game style uh, artwork. I'm fine with that. It looks like we might have multiple types of artwork across the games. That would make it even cooler. Then we get a little bit of art pages in the back, just a couple there in the back of the box. So not a bad start, but I'm looking forward to trying out this game. So let's do that, shall we? Let's play. Okay, <clears throat> let's try out this Fair Rune collection. See if we wanna play all four or what we're gonna do. See if we got any downloading. Nope, looks like we're right into the game, sweet. Um, Tonight, no wine, having vodka, skip more, I'd like to. Fly high works, but that's not illegal. I mean, wait, that's, that, you know what I'm saying. All right, let me turn it up in my room a little bit. 
Come on. Got a big camera in my way. There we go. All right, press A. We definitely start with the original, I suppose. And let's see what happens. Uh, okay. Okay. Well, um, I don't know how much the audio just dropped out on me, but I'm glad I looked over to see that the uh, microphone wasn't capturing. Let's try that again. Uh, it said something about greetings. I am the ancient Codex. Might I entrust you to do a small job for me? And then I made a bunch of sexual jokes and realized I probably shouldn't. So maybe it's a good thing the mic cut out. Ah, ahem. First, welcome to Faerun, where illusion is reality. The three spirit icons once sealed an evil spirit at the center of the realm. But one day, the spirit icons disappeared and strange events began to occur. In the blink of an eye, our world was overrun by monsters. Ahem. It's been quite dangerous, with monsters and such running amok. But do not fret. There is always money in the banana stand. This is kind of a custom round around these parts. It occurs every few hundred years. So with that said, ahem. Oh, chosen one, seek out the three missing spirit icons and seal off the scourge once more. And can we count on you? Well, I do have up to 20 toes and fingers, so if you don't count above 20, sure. Even monsters won't harm girls in cute dresses. Well, they're fucking sexist. And I'm just going to curse and be dirty. Screw it. <laughs> Take some time to explore your surroundings. I don't want to take too long. Oh, interesting. Oh, weird. Okay. And then I'll, oh, god, we got blobbies. What did I do? I don't care about that. Let's go back down here. Okay, so we are opening up little parts of the map. Ooh, I want that. Got a red, got a red, got him is what I'm going for. But I got a red gem. And those trees are moving. The trees are alive with the sound of magic. Oh. Um. Okay. Oh, no. Yep. No. Shit. Okay. All right. We'll work with that. God, there are a lot of bad guys. What can I even do here? This item won't work here. All right. Uh, yeah, I know. okay. What does this do? Even monsters won't, ha oh, we already did that, okay. So they won't harm me. I guess I'm just supposed to go around and find something. Eh, eh, get out of my wee. Definitely a bit of a Zelda-ish control, Zelda-ish control, control scheme. I talk English good. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Ugh. There we go. Really? Eh. I could actually use like a D pad controller for this. I guess I could use the thingies. What happens if I click a button on one of these? Nope, that's just doing that again. That's just doing that again. That's just doing that. Okay. I guess I'm just going to continue exploring. Am I just supposed to open up the whole map? Oh, wait. Oh, hey. There's a dungeon. And I can't go anywhere in the dungeon. Wow, this is very exciting. Okay. Stupid blobby. You'll need a piece of mana to recover your life bar. Hey there in the distance. Could it be? No. No. Yes. Yes. Yaha. Got a piece of mana. I got a piece of that mana. <laughs> I made a sex joke. No, you didn't really. 
Cannot get to that that way. Ah, stop bouncing me back. Okay, I was not running the joystick there. So, I guess my purpose is gonna be to like, just uh, open up the whole map. Wait, I was already there. Try using the piece of mana in a suspicious location. Over there, there's an odd tuft of grass. I mean, is this what this game is? Cause this ain't that much fun. <laughs> I guess there's gotta be more to it. Let's see what happens. Oh, I can have sword. I forgot to say, when you want to stop, be sure to press the plus button to save your game. No auto save. If you forget to, oh, I cannot even bear to say what will happen. Wait, where, where, where did that? I guess we haven't figured out where that sword opened yet. Oh yeah, there it is. Good. Now I can start kicking some booty. <laughs> That's what I call mine. Now you're ready for battle? Anyway, ahem. Fight monsters by walking into them. Oh, wow. Weak foes die instantly, but yield no XP. If a foe is too strong for you, no extra effort will fell it. I suggest picking foes suited to your level. Ahem. Anyhow, that's about the gist of it. For suggested monster info, open me again. And that's all there is to know about shrimp. Happy hunting. Boom. Oh yeah. Pop of that bubble. When you get back over here, you're... Oh, they just respawn? Well, that's a cheap way to level up. Level up. Level up, level up, level up. Sorry, there's a Zumba song. Can I beat the trees? Yeah. I can beat that wood. How you like me now? <laughs> oh, I'm drunk on power. Wait, what? Oh. Okay, in this world, there's no big penalties upon dying. However, you will have to do some backtracking. Well, I hadn't really gone very far to begin with, so... Not too worried about that. I'm wondering if we should just go ahead and switch over to one of the other versions here. Wait, why is... I'm just supposed to... What just happened? What the... Okay... Oh, uh, okay. Wait, when I... I thought I was just... I do just... Uh. Oh god, okay, 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 okay. But why am I losing life when I stab them? I thought I was just supposed to bump into them to kill them. But somehow that's hurting me? Yeah, what the hell? I are confused. Okay, whoa. That thing hit me hard. Well, this isn't... Yeah, okay. So I guess I'm just supposed to... Okay, I guess just don't do that any more than I have to. Huh. Oh, boy. Oh, man. Alright, well, I guess we'll go till I die again. Which does not seem like it's gonna take too long. Oh man. Oh, this was a mistake. Can't. I can't go nowhere. Look at this. I'm gonna kill this guy and I'm gonna die. Yeah, okay. That's lame. Yeah, let's try one of the other versions, Scoob. I'm not quite enjoying that. That's not a very good Shaggy, I, I am aware. Um, I don't even care about saving, honestly. Because that was kind of lame. 
I'll do that again someday. Maybe. This might be a shelf warmer. Oh, I can't even play the other one. I have to unlock it. That sucks. Let's take a taste of Faerun 2. I got a feeling it's more of the same. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah. It's very much a Zelda ripoff. Faerun, a world where imagination is reality. Currently, no demon is being resurrected to threaten the world, nor is the world going to come to an end. However, um, excuse my manners, I forgot to introduce myself. I am known as the Ancient Codex. Hmm. Yeah, I don't want to spoil the story, so I'm going to skip. Just a moment. And yeah, pretty much the same thing. There's a mana fragment, if you can use it, you may be able to blah blah blah, recover HP. Obtained mana fragment. You can now use items by pressing the A button. Alright, so that's different. <laughs> oh, am I getting a Skype call? What was that? <laughs> Alright, so we're not necessarily opening a map here. Yeah, mana fragment reacting, grass. Hey. Oh, right. Yay. Okay. Well, that didn't do me any... Oh, I guess it opened up a path. All right. Oh, teleporting pad. So I can jump down, get around, and give me a sword! I have the power! It appears to me that you are now prepared. Let me explain. Oh, God. Ahem. Uh, battle is done by charging into monsters. Weak monsters can be slain easily, but you will not gain any XP. Strong monsters can be defeated, but they will cause you a lot of damage. Be prepared. It is best to only fight monsters that suit your level. Ahem. Seems familiar. What's that about it? Well, that's about it. Please let me assist you. Whenever you want to know which monsters you should fight. Good luck, Chuck. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yep, I do all those things. This is like boring reading. Okay, there's the mini map. Oh, look over there. Something looks different. I know, that's where I was going there. Oh, secret trees. What is that? I got a shiny. Obtained green orb. Okay. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Then that happened. Um, I think I'm ready to move on because this is just more of the same and it's not terribly exciting. So this is just kind of a Zelda-ish clone? We'll check out Origin for just a second. Yeah, sorry guys and gals and everyone out there. I thought this would be a little more interesting. Uh, yeah, okay. The, fair the fairies sealing in the Demon King have been driven away by an unknown evil. It is only a matter of time before the Demon King will regain his power. I implore you, please find the four fairies scattered in the land of Faerun, so they may seal in the Demon King again. So basically we want to do an evil containment wave on Piccolo? That's what I'm getting from this. Oh, and they like, they kind of made the graphics like almost some hybrid of Nintendo and Atari? Interesting. Yeah, this looks like just more of the same. I guess I go capture the fairies. I put them on the thing. Hey, fairy! Looks like I've already got a weapon, though. Hey, fairy! I need you! Oh, yeah, the map's much smaller. I feel like I could at least open this map very quickly. 
<laughs> oh, oh, okay. Ooh, ooh. And my axe. Yeah. Do I want to do that? I don't want to do that. But I do want to do this. Ho! Oh, got right by him. So, there must be a way we can, like, traverse the wetlands here. Oh, I already went that way. Alright. Fine, I'll just go this way. I can't get up on this way. Ha <laughs> ha! I splattered your cuts everywhere. <laughs> and it felt good. Um, and I am out of ideas. No, I don't want to ax the fairy. Hey fairy, can I ax you a question? <laughs> All right. Honestly, I think I'm done. <laughs> I got another game to play. Um, if you're interested, I don't know if it already came out or if it's coming out later, but if you see me open the NECA video game version of Jason Voorhees, I'm gonna do a little bit of a let's play in there like I do here with the original NES um, Friday the 13th game. So you might wanna look for that video if that's something you care about. Nope, nothing to be done. Except kill you, ha ha! Weed. <laughs> All right, well. There's Fair Rune Collection. Honestly, for me, this might be one of the weaker, um, weaker ones that I've gotten from Super Rare. I mean, it's probably pretty cool some 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 way if I really get into it. Maybe I'm just not in the mood, but I don't know. All right, back to the dude who's actually gonna look at cards and stuff. All right, so hopefully that game was really fun. Obviously, I record the game footage after finishing these videos, so I have no idea. But hopefully you enjoyed that, and hopefully you'll enjoy future videos as that's what we do this year now, and I'm, in, I'm glad you guys asked me to start talking. I'm having fun doing that. Especially, I imagine, this is gonna have a lot of talking, so that makes that a lot more better, a lot more entertaining for me than having to just read all that stuff, getting to do it in voices. So we're gonna start with the one pack. This is the pack that was included with the game. I did keep them separate. And as usual, every time, there's only been five different cards you could collect. I don't know if that will ever change. I don't know if there are gold or foil cards like a limited run does, but they all have the same back here. So let's get in here and see what we got off number one is card number five, which is kind of the, typically the front of the box art card. So that's nice. And we got the four fairies, which is card number three. So that's a good start right there. And then out of the main pack we include, we also got uh, Sword, Sword of Hope, which is card number one. So we got one, three, and five. So we're gonna be looking for two and four. And then of course you just get kind of the art card that helps keep the cards blind boxed in the bag. All right, so now here we go. We are looking for two and four. If I can get one of those out of this pack, then I'll feel a lot better by getting the two out of the other, or the other out of the other, I suppose. All right, we got, ooh, we got something. Yes, we got card number four, Fair Rune Blast. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, and I'm trying to build my thumbnail here, but also I don't want to spoil the cards in the thumbnail, so we're not gonna show everything. We got another four fairies, another card number three, and Sword of Hope, card number one. So we're definitely gonna be looking for a card number two in this last booster pack. But we've had real good luck here lately, so I mean, it's gotta run out eventually. But let's see. <laughs> I'm not, and again, I'm not even sure why I collect these. It just kind of makes this a little bit more fun than just opening the game. So it's y'all's fault. I'm gonna blame y'all. Here we go. Will we get card number two? Is that what I was looking for? Yes, I'm looking for two. Mm -mm, nope, that's the art card. All right. Uh oh. Four fairies. Uh oh. Moment of truth. Uh, yes, we got the sunset cage. We got card number two. We got ourselves a full set. Awesome. I don't know if they're just, I don't know if they're doing that intentionally or what anymore, but I'm appreciative. Well, there you guys go. There is Fair Rune Collection for the Nintendo Switch from Super Rare Games, release number 14. Definitely let me know what you think about this. Drop some comments. Have you played it? Do you want to play it? And again, if you know, if you want to play it and you don't care about physical, it's available on the eShop, so you can go play it right now. 
And this is just more about collecting physical versions because I used to talk about wanting to, um, you know, you could always play them years down the line. Well, I guess with the uh, SD cards, I'd never really made, I never really thought that through. <laughs> with the SD cards, technically, you can play these down the line even if you don't have the physical card. It's just, it's nicer to have the art and stuff, I guess. So that's what I think. Now I want to hear what y'all have to say about it. But other than that, you can click that thumbs up button. Give me that good old thumb of encouragement as I do love to be encouraged. You can uh, click, uh, I did that, click, yeah, you don't need to check out Stardust. All right, well, you comment, you thumb up, you get out of here. I'm gonna go, we'll play some more games, watch some more stuff and figure out how I make these videos because I've seemed to have forgotten. And I'll see you all later. Thank you.